Islanders, this is new. I've cruised for well over a decade. I've seen several situations myself that I've had to get myself through. I've helped a lot of you get through situations that were difficult, but right now I'm in a situation I've never seen before and I don't know what the end result is going to be. Wait until I share this with you today. Plus on the show, we're going to talk about one cruise line who went with the new way to hold their muster drills after cruising restarted. Uh, easy way, you could use the app, you could watch things, you check in at your convenience, but now this cruise line is going back old school. They're going back to the pre-COVID way of doing their muster drills. We'll talk about that. Plus, we have an update on Faster to the Fun and Behind the Fun Tour. Could they be coming back this week? Find out right now on Island Time. A big happy Monday to all you Islanders. I hope you had a great weekend and your week is off to a great start. It is time that we drop our anchors. We take some time and relax in the islands together. Thank you for joining the show today. There's so much to discuss. Starting first with this, could Faster to the Fun be back? Could the Behind the Fun Tour be back? Carnival's brand ambassador, John Hill, posted this morning. He has news on this this week and hopes that these two things that cruisers have been seeking out for months and months will be back. So many of you have asked me over the months, when will Faster to the Fun be back? And it looks like an announcement is set for this week. Have you ever purchased Faster to the Fun? Are you looking for Faster to the Fun for your next cruise? Let us know in the comment section below if this news excites you. We have so much news regarding cruise ships. We can't even fit it all in. There's so much going on across the industry. A lot of us cruise because we love cruise ships. Yes, we love the destinations. We love the ports of call. We love the beach, the sand, the water, the snorkeling, scuba, island tours, mine runs. We love all of it. But we love the cruise ships. And it's so neat to see the time period that we're in right now where all these ports in the United States are getting new cruise ships, either brand new or new to them. The Allure of the Sea selling from Galveston, Texas. That was a big reception there late last week. The Norwegian Prima is selling inaugural sailings out of Miami. The Wonder of the Seas for Royal Caribbean is in Port Canaveral. It's great to see these cruise ships at new locations so new cruisers can enjoy them. Islanders, let me share this predicament that I'm in with you. Listen to this. Amanda and I have cruised for a long time. We've never been in this predicament that we're in right now. And we don't know how it's going to end. We have no clue how it's going to end. Listen to this. If you've been through something similar, literally, I need you to listen. I need you to share how it ended for you. Amanda and I were basically notified by our families this year because of travel issues and, and things like that and other obligations that our families aren't going to meet traditionally on Thursday as we have for many, many years. So Amanda and I both said, why not cruise? Why not cruise? Well, the reason why we can't cruise is because all the Thanksgiving sailings are sold out as they should be. We're close to Thanksgiving. Amanda and I are talking about cruising like the next five to seven days but there's nothing open. So what do I do? I call Carnival and I say, hey, I, I want to cruise. Is there anything I can do? Is there a wait list I can get on for this sold out selling? So many of you are trying to get on wait list as well. You wonder, is there a wait list for the Carnival celebration November 21st? Is there a wait list for that inaugural selling November 18th on the Carnival Jubilee? Is there a wait list for the Icon of the Seas coming January 2024? There are wait lists for cruises that are sold out. It differs per cruise line, but here's what we have figured out. We called Carnival Cruise Line and we were able to be put on the wait list for two ships. We chose the Carnival Breeze leaving November 21st and the Carnival Vista leaving November 19th. Now listen to this. You don't just get on the list. You have to say, I'm committed. I'm yours. Yeah, that's pretty bad. You have to be committed. You have to pay a deposit. So there's four travelers. Myself, Amanda, our two boys. You pay the full $250 deposit. We paid that for the Breeze, so there's $1,000. We paid a separate deposit for the Vista. There's $1,000, $2,000. If you don't sell, you get your deposit back. Here's another piece of information for you. 
You don't get to choose your cabin category. You don't say, I want the interior ocean view balcony suite. Whatever comes open, they call you. And since we have two different requests, two different wait lists, whichever one they call us with first, let's, our first choice is the Breeze. We would like to, a shorter cruise with the boys on the Breeze. But let's say they call with the Vista and they say, we have a balcony open that's going to be $4,000. You have to take that booking. You can't say, no, go ahead and pass that on to someone else and call me later. Or I really wanted to be on the Breeze. You call it or your reservation is canceled. You do get your money back, but it's canceled. So it's interesting, we're sitting here waiting and I'm checking as much as I can. They told me, go ahead and check. If you see something open, call us. But it's supposed to flag their system where if something comes open, they call me, we'll see what happens. Will the Phillips family be cruising for Thanksgiving? Let us know what you think. I know we waited till last minute. I'm not blaming anybody, I'm blaming myself. Things change, we wanna cruise. Will we be on a ship? celebrating Thanksgiving. What do you think, Islanders? We're gonna try, and you know that if we cruise, so do you. The internet works on Carnival. We always go live, so I invite you now. Subscribe, of course, to receive notifications when we go live, when we update content just like that. Make sure you ring the bell so you receive live notifications when we upload or go live. We're gonna see what happens. I have no clue. Our next story today is Disney Cruise Line as they change their muster protocol process. Disney Cruise Line, much like Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and others, changed their, their muster process after cruising restarted to be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more self-guided. You check into a station that you're supposed to check into. You say, here's the station. They say, here's how you put on your life vest. Do you have any questions? No. It's usually like a two or three minute process. Disney Cruise Line has been has had that process in place since the cruise restart, and they are rewinding the tape, and they are going back to the old way of mustering as going forward. Some ships have already started. Other ships will be in place this month. All guests will be required to report to their assigned assembly station in person and at the scheduled time on embarkation day. They're going back old school. Show up. Check in. you got to be here all at one time. This change is believed to be a result of people not doing their self-guided in-app check-in. I know what you mean. I see what you're saying. I accept. I see my muster station. They didn't do it. They didn't do it. So Disney's going back. Islanders, what do you think about this? Do you like the new way of mustering for Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and other cruise line that, that's much more relaxed and let me ask you this, when do you usually go to that muster station? Is it usually first thing when you get on board or do you go eat, grab you a drink and go? Let us know in the comment section below. Hopefully Disney is in a league of their own like they think that they are and they are for some respective, but hopefully they are in a league of their own and no other cruise line decides to do this. Before we leave today, let me share this with you. Several Carnival Cruise Line guests who booked the Carnival Magic were notified that their sailing is still going to take place but on a different vessel. The Costa Venecia, which will become the Carnival Venecia, will be their new ship. Let me share this with you right now. These are sailings uh, that were set to take place on the Carnival Magic, June the 15th through September the 23rd. Now going to take place on this new Costa by Carnival, the Carnival Venezia. This is dated yesterday. Dear Carnival Magic guests, we want to provide you with an update on your cruise. Carnival Venezia will be joining the Carnival fleet and will now be operating our sailing from New York, including your cruise. We know that you will enjoy the warm and friendly service from our Carnival Venezia crew and the variety of entertainment and activities that we have planned for you. Now, let's just stop here a minute. The Carnival Magic is a dream class ship, the dream magic and breeze. Uh, the, the Costa or the Carnival Venezia is a Vista class ship. So these passengers are going to go on a bigger cruise ship. Some people like bigger cruise ships. Some people book those smaller cruise ships because they are indeed smaller. Just like her Carnival sisters, fun will be at the heart of Carnival Venezia, but she will also carry a unique experience incorporating the spectacular Italian atmosphere and rich culture into a variety of onboard 
offerings. Carnival Venezia is a new Vista class ship built in 2018, much newer than the Magic, offering spacious and comfortable staterooms along with many fan favorite onboard features like Bonsai Tempanyaki, Fahrenheit 555, Seafood Check, Pizzeria Del Capitano, Java Blue Cafe, Ivory Piano Bar, Heroes Tribute Bar, Plus Cloud Nine Spa, and Serenity. Islanders, would you be happy with this new cruise ship? Many people are excited about this Costa by Carnival concept. Would you be excited to hear that your cruise ship has been upgraded to a newer, larger, totally different cruise ship? If you're booked on the magic and you're affected by this, go to YouTube, look at a tour of the Costa Venezia. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. The Lido deck is beautiful, it's covered. One reason why it's selling out of New York City, you can enjoy the pool while it's 30 degrees outside if you want to. Islanders, I hope you enjoyed the show today. If so, give us a thumbs up. That thumbs up button is just below this. Go ahead and click it for us. That will help this show be shown in front of others who are looking for cruise news and a community just like you. I can't wait to see your comments regarding the show today. Be sure that you follow us as we'll see what happens this week. Are we going to cruise? Am I gonna enjoy my turkey and dressing? a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and football on board a cruise ship, or am I gonna be here in Central Arkansas? Time will tell. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Island Time.